welcome back to my youtube channel so we are going to be solving a question on Fourier transform so like i said in our last video i'm going to be treating a basic or mostly like most likely a simple example on Fourier transform for you to understand how to apply the formula to solve any question of any question of a choice so now the formula the question i giving to us said find the Fourier cosine transform for exponential of exponential minus 80 so now, like I said on our last video, the formula for finding the Fourier cosine transform of a particular function of t, remember this is a function of t exponential minus at, is given as, is denoted as f subscript k, subscript c of omega, right? Then we'll be having integral, sorry, we'll be having square root of 2 over pi, right? Then integral coming from 0 to infinity of function of t cos wt dt. So we are going to make use of this formula for finding the cosine transform of a function of, of, of exponential minus 80. So now, where your function of t here is what? Exponential minus 80, right? Because the only function of t here is exponential minus 80, and which they gave us from the question. So we are going to put it in this integral, um, in this formula here, we'll be having square root of 2 over pi, integral from 0 to infinity, right? Exponential minus 80 cos wt dt. So we use our common method for calculating for integrating two functions of t. We use the integration by parts method. So in this case, using my using your L I A T E, you have an exponential, you have in trigonometric. So the trigonometric comes before the exponential. So we take u to be cos w t. So my u is cos w t. Right. So in, uh, my dv, I'll take it as exponential minus 80 so meaning that i'll be differentiating my u and be integrating my dv so differentiating my u my du is equal to um differentiating cos wt i'll be having minus w sine wt dt right then integrating my dv i'll be having v is equal to uh, minus a t minus exponential minus 80 divided by a Remember, when I'm integrating an exponential, I'm dividing it by the function, the, the constant in front of the function, right? So, this is what I'm having. So, now, applying my integration by parts method formula, which says u dv, integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v dv, right? So, so um, where my u is cos wt and my v is this. So putting it back into my um, integration, my part formula, which is cos wt times minus at over a minus integral minus exponential minus at over a times my du, which is this, right? So putting it here, so we have this. So this is minus times minus is plus, plus times minus is still minus. So we're left with minus integral exponential minus at over a times w sine wt dt. So we're left with this, right? So now... This is still integrable, so but we have a constant here which is 1 over a, right? So we take it to the back of the integral sign. So we'll be having minus exponential minus a t cos w t over a minus 1 over a integral. Um, so we are also having a constant here which is w, right? So we'll be having w over a at the back of the integral sign. Then this is exponential minus a t sine w t dt. So we integrate it once more, we integrate it again. So integrating this right here will be so let's bring it out here. So this is integral exponential minus a t sine w t dt, right? So in this case we apply integration by part method. So um in which we make use of our lie a t e where this is logarithm um this is logarithm, this is lane, this is this is your natural logarithm that's ln, which is lane. And this is arithmetic, this is trigonometric, and this is exponential. So we have an exponential, we have trigonometric. So trigonometric comes before exponential. So my sine wt takes my u. So u is sine wt and dv is exponential minus at. Right. So differentiating u, this is du equals w cos wt. Right. Then um, integrating dv, this is v equals to minus exponential at over a, which is still the same thing. So putting it back into my integration by parts method, which says um, u dv equals uv minus v du. Right? There's, a, there's actually a short form for solving this, but I, I want you to understand how to apply integration by parts method in solving this. So my, my u, which is sine wt times 
um, my V, which is minus exponential minus 80 over A minus in integral my V, which is minus exponential minus 80 over A times my DU, which is W cos WT dt, right? So if you notice, you are having exponential 8 minus 80 and cos WT again, right? So remember, if you can remember your standard integration by parts, there's actually a way, a way for solving this. So now let's proceed. You see, it's very, very simple. So this is uh, minus exponential 8 minus 80 sine wt over a now this is minus times minus is plus right so this is plus integral exponential minus 80 times w over a times cos wt dt right sorry for that for that glitch so um what i did here was just um simplifying this right and simplify this to this and then um, simplifying this this is minus times minus so this is plus then simplifying this and have this so i did i just i didn't do anything new so um what we do now so we're having w and a as a constant so we take it to the back of the integral sign so this is minus exponential minus a t sine w t over a so this is w over a integral exponential minus a t cos w t so remember all what all this was what we got from integrating this right so i remove this and i put this back into this right so putting this back into this we'll be having so we'll be having minus exponential minus a t cos w t over a right and this is minus w over a open bracket putting this here so this is minus exponential minus a t sine w t over a plus w over a integral exponential minus a t cos w t t closing the bracket so um we now like i said remember all what we got for us from integrating exponential minus a t cos wt right this is what we got from integrating this now if you look at this we're having exponential minus a t here cos wt and also having exponential minus a t here cos wt so we say let i be equal to integral coming from integral exponential minus a t cos wt now this this rule only applies when you're having the same integral you're integrating you're also having it in the answer so i is equal to this right so this is i equals minus exponential minus a t equals w t over a right minus now let's multiply it by minus w over a here so this is minus w x now this minus and minus is plus so this is plus minus exponential a t sine w t over a square right this is a times a then minus w over a times this this is minus w squared so so multiplying this we have this so multiplying so remember if we said let i be equal to integral coming from x integral exponential minus a t cos w t so this is integral exponential minus a t cos w t so we present it as i right so we add this to this take collect collect like terms right this is w w square over a square i this is i so collect like terms so now this is just basically this what i'm doing here is just basic integration it doesn't have anything to do with the Fourier transform you're solving this is just basic integration right so what we where we we applied Fourier transform is from the formula so the rest of it is just basic integration that's all what Fourier series is all about it's just basic integration right using mostly integration by parts so we take this to this so this is i plus w square over a square i right then we are left with only this right this is minus exponential minus a t cos w t over a plus w exponential minus a t over a square sine w t right so we we simplify this right that's the only way forward is to simplify this so simplifying this right simplifying this will be having a square we have an a square plus w square over a square right taking factoring out i right i factor out i then simplify one over w square over a square then i had this right which is equal to minus exponential minus a t cos w t over a plus w exponential minus a t over a square sine w t so what's left for us to do here now is to make i subject of formula so making i subject of formula that's dividing through by this function we have here so dividing through by a square plus w square over a square right dividing through by a square plus w square over a square 
right so my i is equal to minus exponential let's just take this to this point so this is minus exponential at equals wt over a plus w exponential minus at sine wt over a square so bracket this is a square over a square plus w square Now, do not forget that we said let i be equal to the integral come from exponential minus a t cos w t, right? d t. So we had this. We have we have we have, we've gotten our value for the integral we are solving since, which is minus exponential minus a t cos w t over a plus w exponential minus a t sine w t over a square. So we're having a square over a square plus this. Now, where this here is a constant. Do not forget. So now, if, like I said. Don't forget that the, we're having our limit from 0 to infinity, right? And remember, we're having what? 2 over pi, right? So, we're going to apply this 2 now on this uh, solution. So, apply my limit first. My limit says from 0 to infinity, right? Remember, this is a constant, so it doesn't apply to the constant. So, I'm only applying our limit for function of t, right? So, remember, if it's a function of t, you apply our limit. Now, um, okay, applying my limit right now, so... Um, I'm putting infinity and I'm putting zero. So let's put infinity first. So this is minus exponential minus a times infinity, right? Remember, exponential of infinity is zero. So if exponential of infinity is zero, so this makes all this here is zero. So let's let me just write it out. Um, infinity divided by a plus w exponential minus a times infinity sine w times infinity over a square. So all this is zero, all this is zero, right? So if we've applied the value for my limit. So remember as as it goes for direct integration, remember this is um um in sorry, this is um definite int integral, that's definite integration where you have your limits. So um as it goes, so since we have applied limit and when we put infinity here, infinity of um, exponential of infinity is zero. So no need of even putting infinity in the course. So you all know that all this is zero. Exponential of infinity is zero, all this is zero. So this is minus. So putting for zero, so this is minus exponential a times zero cos w times zero over a plus w exponential minus a times zero sine w times zero over a square. Now, if you can remember that exponential of zero is one, right? So we're having equals to now this is minus right minus open bracket remember all this is zero so this is, all this is zero minus minus integral so this is just minus minus one right exponential of zero is one right so um we are left with um cos w times zero and remember cos remember w times zero is zero right and cos zero is one so this is also one over a right plus w remember exponential of zero here is also one so this is one sine and exponential and uh, sine of zero remember w times zero is zero and sine of zero is what zero so this is so this gives me zero so i left with minus open bracket minus one over a and minus times minus is what plus so we're left with is this is equal to one over a so remember do not forget your constant which is a square over a square plus w square right now one last thing do not forget your what square root of 2 over pi so this is now so this is equal to 0 to infinity exponential minus a t cos w t of square root of 2 over pi is equal to square root of 2 over pi 1 over a a square over a square plus this so this is the answer so um so apply my two over square root of two over pi. So this I have this right. So just ap applying to um, square root of two over pi here to my answer. So now this is the Fourier transform, which is equal to square root of two over pi. Come from zero to infinity of exponential minus a t cos w t right is equal to two over pi. One over a a square over a square plus w square. So this is my final answer so um thank you for watching and um i pray i believe you understand how to apply the formula so this is why this the issue is just um how you can successfully integrate the function 
why the the, the, the all, all about Fourier transform is just remembering the formula and applying it then the rest is your normal integration by part method and uh, so thank you for watching and um see you on the next video